Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We are on Mars at the moment. We just met up with Liara. And Earth is in a lot of trouble. Storm's getting bad. We better wrap this up quickly. The archives are right on the other side. That and a squad of angry Cerberus troops. Uh oh. Oh dear. I have a sniper rifle, right? Uh oh, they're getting closer. How do I. There we go. That'll do. Oh goodness. Still one more. I might need to jump over. Now we're good. Damn. They really didn't want us getting in here. Yes, it confirms my assertions about the value of the data stored here. Uh-oh. I wonder if Cerberus, Cerberus has really stooped so low that they're using husks. Seems like it though, unfortunately. Unless it's not Cerberus. That's always possible. I don't know. Hard to see them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, shoot your foot off, dude. I think he's behind a barrier, that dude. Oh, thank you. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Oh, I can't see anything. I know there's a dude there, though. Balls. I might need to use a grenade for this one. Oh, look at the wall. Hey, leave Liara alone. I will melee you if I have to. Oh, nice. No, he's dead. Don't worry about it. Gosh. Whew. It's not easy being Shepard. Which way? Which way? Pressing V? No, not that way. Oh, god, they're really giving us lots of weapons. Can we just see what my loadout is currently? Oh, shotguns. That's cool. <laughs> I'm still a bit confused with this one. Like, I don't quite understand. I think this is my current loadout. And this is swapping between all my pistols by the looks of it. So if I press, oh, maybe. Uh, don't worry. I'll make it work with whatever I have. And then I'll look at these like in between videos so I understand. There's all my pistols. There's the snipey. I think that's something. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's all good. Just make sure I picked up everything. Oh. It looks pretty empty. Also, I noticed that I haven't done a hack yet. Is there any hacking in this one? Surely. Like, matching up things. Hey, 
King. Right. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. You are deluded. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. That base was an abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. Don't tell me Elusive Man is the bad guy in Mass Effect 3, like the antagonist. He's a dick. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You're out of your mind. An agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Now. She's got the data. We'll get it. She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. How exactly do you want me to catch her? Just shoot her? No, I think we're just actually chasing after her. Ugh. Distance to target. You bitch. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Miranda. Like, you have Miranda vibes. Holy balls. Uh, hang on. Maybe you go through the glass or. Oh. She's getting away. Coming. I mean, the outfit looks Miranda esque. <laughs> Time to go. Dr. Ava. Oh my god. I'm guessing we can't kill her just yet. We have to like wait until we find a dead end. Severus has the data. Radio the Normandy. Get the 
down here now. Get this. Hey. Shoot you in the ass if I have to. She a robot. Oh no. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the comm room. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. 
I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Well, I'm skeptical. I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in the Council, but that's obvious. There's the Citadel. Very pretty. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Oh. Word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So. You're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Okay. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. Bailey? <laughs> if you don't remember Bailey, he helped us uh, with a few optional side quests. I think he was part of Thane's side quest at one point. But yeah. Oh god. Oh, look at my money. Does anyone want to talk? I've got lots of cash money. Uh, I'm going to save because you know me. I like doing saves. <sighs> What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. No, we can't. <laughs> I suppose you wanted an interview. <laughs> Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battlespace. We're carried on just about all council planets. 
My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Interesting proposition. All right. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Uh-huh, I guess we'll see her aboard the Normandy. Interesting. Oh my god, that made this game pretty. I mean, it's always awesome and pretty. There's a keeper. Uh... What was it, the music? It's just that she boarded the Normandy? Alright, how different is the Citadel this time? Oh, look at that lighting! Fuck. What a great looking game. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, let's explore. Time to learn the layout. Ah, yes, I remember you. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Uh, I probably don't really need to ask her anything. Like, I'll just do this What's one. Heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each dock. That's about eyes. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. That's fair. You know what? I'm good. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. No worries. Uh... Is it the council before leaving? Oh, is that back to the, the Normandy, is it? Oh, I'll have to go through here. Right. Screening. Beep, beep. No, I'm good. Well, it's definitely looking a bit more high tech up in here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment. All right, so I said um, we would go to the medical center first before we visit um, Udina in his office. Oh, looking good. Uh, Serta supplies? <laughs> Whiskey? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm probably good. Is it something unique? I'm, I'm probably good. Is it a store in the Citadel? Seriously, that's an achievement? Oh, it's Chakwas! Shepard, there you are. Is that the other doctor? <laughs> I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab hmm. down in Shelter Wards. Coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. All right, so that Dr. Michelle is also from the first game. She was like one of the early side quests we did. Uh, what have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Ooh, I wonder if we can get her back on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Oh, hell yeah. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> I mean, we haven't spoken to Joker yet. I haven't had an opportunity to just walk around the Normandy yet. Yay. We're getting the crew back together again <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, Michelle. 
Michael, Come Michelle. On, Shepherd. Good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. Oh, I see you're still very French. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Oh, good to see you again. I know we're gonna run into so many familiar faces. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, so many skins. Fancy. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised I'm allowed back here. I am Commander Shepard, though. I do what I want. Oh, nice view, Caden. <laughs> hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out, either. I'm gonna take my chances. Oh. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Oh, that's horribly corny. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be okay. We already lost Ashley. We don't need to lose him too. <sighs> All right. There's no one else to talk to. We'll go to Udina's office. I wonder if Udina will be happy to see us. Well, no one really wants to talk anymore, so we can probably go. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so glad there's no camera shake while I'm jogging around. That's good. <laughs> Let's do this. Udina. I'll save before we go as well. You know me, I like to save like crazy. Uh, that one. Just save over that. That's fine. Yeah, it looks like some areas of the Citadel aren't unlocked just yet, but we'll probably unlock them very soon. God damn, even the loading screen is pretty as hell. Oh. Is there a map? Mm, I'm pressing no, no, okay. I'm just um, eavesdropping on the embassy clerk. <laughs> Did you say disgraced Commander Shepard? How dare you? I'm a goddamn hero. This looks like a dead end. Well, I'm like running in slow motion. Did you see that? How'd I do that? <laughs> uh, Shrike Embassy Prothean Obelisk. Okay. Huh. 
Now, so this probably goes without saying, I'm probably going to try and do uh, like a 100% completionist of this game as much as I can. Humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Algelani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think <laughs> I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> no, I don't want an interview. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Gotta hate this woman. Damn press. <laughs> See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Same. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Ah, uh, you look after yourself, Bailey. I like you quite a bit. This reporter, on the other hand, <sighs> hopefully she's walked away. All right. Uh, there's Udina. What's this one? This one doesn't get a name. What's this? Maintenance? Spectre terminal use. Spectre rec- Oh, This is for me. Yeah, look. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Corian Fleet Intel? Corian Pilgrim Gen Volin Narnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Gen Volin purchased tech including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Corian pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Corian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no, for no formal offer to request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Koreans may instead be preparing for conflict with the Geth. Oh no. Oh, so this whole game is just war, huh? <laughs> oh dear. Ugh. Look at all this from the shinies. Oh, hello. Ooh, piranha. Ah, oh, sick. It's a shotgun. I thought it was a grenade launcher. Fucking designed for the Reaper War. I'll look at these later. Um, I'm in no, no hurry to buy anything. We're probably gonna find heaps of shit, like, I'm not too fussed with that. Uh, what's this? Enter shooting right now. Ah, so if you want to like test out a weapon. Uh, that's cool, I don't need it. I'm good. I test out my weapons on <laughs> victims. Alright, um, if there's nothing else... Ooh, Dina? Okay. Seems easy enough to navigate the Citadel for now. Commander. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Let's do it. We've got God. a problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. 
I knew this would be frustrating. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Honestly, Shepard, you take the words right out of my mouth. Do you have a better plan? <laughs> Seriously. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared. And we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. <laughs> it's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. We are seriously running out of time here. Like, Earth is being destroyed currently. Like, it's probably not going to be there by the time we actually get everyone together. You have a nice office, dude. Jesus. Do you want to speak any more, Regina? The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? 
Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread all over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending a sorry space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth, and the Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. Yeah, it's true. Usually that Turian is always, like, really aggravated when he talks to us, but he's like, oh, actually giving us help? It's interesting. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. <sighs> it's not good. I mean, I knew the council would be frustrating, but in the back of my mind, it's like, oh, what if? What if maybe they're not going to be assholes this time? But <sighs> I shouldn't have got my hopes up. At least the Turian has given us something better than nothing. All right, so you said that you unlocked stuff, Spectre, Spectre stuff here, right? So I'm guessing it was grayed out before and now it's available. Ah, uh, not that one. No, it's still gray. Uh, these are really expensive. <laughs> Only have 35,000. Yeah, ah, uh, no, they're, they're, they're expensive. I gotta make some money. Explore the galaxy, find resources, maybe scan some planets. Alright. I think that's it, we've explored everywhere here. Maybe we should go back onto the Normandy. Uh, Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can oh. expect from the Alliance? Don't hit her. Don't do it. I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. Wow. 
We haven't always seen eye to eye. But I'm glad you're on our side. Well, it was very tempting to hit her, <laughs> but goddamn, she's so frustrating. Shepard is clearly the better man in all of this. Oh, James, what you doing? <sighs> hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it, but they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful, but it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful, once. But was it, really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I mean, he is speaking the truth. Yeah. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. I like you. You're okay in my books. <sighs> no one else popped up that I need to speak to? No. Maybe parts of the Citadel are unlocked now. Welcome, nope. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do, um, unless, like, someone new has popped up after speaking to the council. It's probably okay. Yeah, I don't really see anybody. Good to talk to Charcoal. So we can always come back. I'm sure we can come back. Hmm. What? Can I have a gun? Oh, jeez. Let's go to the dock. I think we're okay to go back to, um, the ship. I don't think anyone news showed up. Uh, what does... Do I have a journal? I do have a journal. I just want to see it. Shrike Abyssal. A Volus diplomat needs a Prothean obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. Palavin. Ah, yeah, that's the one that he talked about. Sure. We've got a codex. Okay, looks, looks good. What the hell? I feel like I'm playing a different game. What on earth? Okay. You're feeling guilty, aren't you? This is terrible. Poor dude.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive <laughs> your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. A lot of information. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. 
I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh, where am I? <laughs> I guess this is the war room. Okay, very cool. I'm glad that Hackett has more of a role to play this time around. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, because we only really saw him, I think it was during like a DLC from the previous game, wasn't it? So it's good to see more of him. Unfortunately, friends, I do think it's time for a break. There's a lot happening. And at least we have some kind of game plan, but wow, like... Earth is being destroyed while we're flying around the galaxy trying to do all these different things. It's nuts, like... It's not looking good. I don't think it's looking good at all. And of course the council is super frustrating as usual, but... I'm really looking forward to getting our party back... Back and like, oh, who's going to be on the ship this time? Is it going to be people from the previous games? Is it going to be, like, new guys? Like, I don't know, so many questions, but absolutely loving it so far but unfortunately it's time for a break so thank you guys so much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video i really appreciate the support i'm on a few different social media platforms the links are in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video